And uh, Shibuzi, black country uh, music star, uh, he uh, was nominated uh, for um, uh, get the biggest song of the year. He was nominated for new artist of the year. He was also uh, nominated uh, in. So he was nominated for new artist of the year, single of the year, uh, and but it came up empty. Now his was interesting. Um, this uh, other um, this guy named Trent Wilmon. Who was, the, who was the producer for Cody Johnson. Cody Johnson uh, won Album of the Year. This is literally what dude says on the stage last night. It takes a, an army of people to make a great record, but I gotta tell you, this is for this cowboy who's been kicking Shibuzi for a lot of years, y'all, Cody Johnson. Well, Shibuzi uh, did not take kindly to that. He posted this photo uh, on Instagram and Twitter as well, making it perfectly clear uh, how he felt uh, like nobody uh, is kicking me around. This is a guy who has broken the record uh, for the he's had for 18 consecu non consecutive weeks uh, has been number one on the Billboard's Hot 100, okay? He's one week away from setting a new record, okay? He performed in a ceremony as well. Uh, and it was, of course, um, again, he, he's a huge breakout star. Um, of course, there, there were a lot of people uh, who were highly critical of the CMAs uh, because um, Beyonce, of course, big hit, and she got no CMA nominations as well. You also might remember when she performed uh, during the CMAs, when she performed, um, she actually, um, huge ratings, but a lot of those racist folks did not like the fact that she performed and they were ripping her online. They took that video down, and eventually put it back up. Um, it, it, it's gotta be, it, it's gotta be insane joy to have a record-breaking year where you come on the scene and you see and you take it by storm and you have the hottest record and you don't even win new artist of the year <laughs> who the hell <laughs> I mean look this is racism in America they have decided that we are not going to take country music again by storm, even though they came from us, right? That's why we have country music is because of black people, right? So they're not going to have it. They're not going to allow it. And they're gonna diminish our artists. But the truth is, and they know it too, they can't diminish our artists because their own viewers are listening to our, our, our artists. And they're crossover and they're taking the country music by storm. There is nothing they can do about it. The only thing they can do is try to deny them some award, some frankly, some silly award that at this point is continuing to make itself less and less relevant because it doesn't reflect what is obviously happening here. It also means that we're going to have to diversify who's making a decision about who wins what awards and who doesn't win the awards. None of this is a surprise. Shabuzi, Beyonce, they're not grieving. They're just fine. I love that big smile he had. Uh, the song uh, is a bar song, Tipsy. Uh, and again, uh, the caption of that photo, go ahead and show it again. He said, ain't nobody kicking me. Um, and you know, to me, that was the appropriate response, Lauren. Uh, and guess what? You may not bring home the awards, but hey, when you, you racking up the dough, you rack up the money. And there's no doubt that uh, he is indeed, uh, indeed uh, a, a major, major star. He's also up for five Grammy Awards. Uh, and so let's see what happens at the Grammys. Yeah, the Country Music Association uh, is made up of, uh, you know, 6,000 people, 
which is a relatively small amount of people. When we talk about the metrics of music, when you can sell into the millions. Um, <laughs> and uh, this song was, this song is a phenomena. I don't know that he really, I don't know that Shibuzi is really in need or Beyonce is in need of this type of white validation, quite frankly, because there's something, uh, as Quincy Jones uh, once said, there's something almost on a religious level about music. And what happens is that popular uh, phenomena of people listening to his music and, and going to see him in concert would overtake anything that CMA would ever do. It kind of reminds me a little bit of what happened uh, to Spike Lee with the movie Malcolm X when Son of a Woman uh, won, or actually it was Al Pacino who won the the best actor and, and Denzel didn't win and the in the movie didn't win and you know when we look back on on it all like what movie do we remember we move we remember Malcolm X more than we remember Son of a Woman right so it, it's kind of the the public speaks and and they'll win out in the end and I just don't think they are in need of this type of white validation it really just doesn't matter they're overtaken by the numbers they're overtaken by the fame that they'll get from their music uh, and shout out to Shibuzi. He's got a Virginia connection. He was born in Woodbridge. Uh, he's going to overtake them. He's going to win in the end. It's just no doubt in my mind. And Beyonce's already won. She won years ago. Uh, it, it just, it, it really is kind of cute that they think that they can diminish these people. It's, they're not going to be able to do it. <laughs> well, uh, I, I, it's, it's funny, of course, uh, when you look at uh, the numbers, you look at how you perform, you look at, uh, frankly, being number one. Uh, and it, 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 I get a kick out of these people, Derek, who go, you know, this is our culture. It's ours. You didn't even create it. Right. Right. Because because, Roland, they do black, know that. black people did. You didn't even create it. History. Black people created country music. They, they don't know their history. And that's why they're trying to whitewash history, right? They got to go back to Chuck Berry. Who did Chuck Berry um, have uh, learned from him? Elvis Presley. Ask Elvis Presley who he learned from, right? And so B.B. King, right? We create everything, Roland, and that's why they're so envy and jealous of us. I don't care if it's country music, sports, like football or tennis, anything we get involved in, they cannot compete. And so the little piece that they try to control, this is a perfect example. They try to control it. Um, and so, yeah, I agree with Lauren and Joy, uh, Beyonce and Shibuzi. They're in a great place. Um, they don't have nothing to worry about. And we're going to continue to do as a as a as a people, as black people, continue to uh, demonstrate black excellence, regardless of the industry, regardless of the activity that we get involved in. Well, I think uh, it, it would be absolutely hilarious uh, for Shibuzi to go to the Grammys and clean up uh, clean big up. time uh, and then sit here and then sit here and go, hey, CMA, how you like me now? Uh, so, uh, and also I love, I love, I love, but I also love, I love, the, I love the new generation, uh, of black country stars that are coming up. Uh, and, and, and here's the deal. Uh, bottom line is white folks don't own, uh, don't own country music. They, they don't own it. Uh, and Lil Nas also showed, uh, Shibuzi some love because remember they were not happy when he, when his song. Uh, blew up and took over and dominated uh, the charts as well. And so to me, that's where you always get the last laugh when they start talking trash and you go, look at the charts, look at the charts, look at the charts. All right. Hi, I'm Isaac Hayes III, founder and CEO of Fanbase. Fanbase is a free to download, free to use, next generation social media platform that allows anyone to have followers and subscribers on the same page. Fanbase was built through investment dollars from equity crowdfunding from the Jobs Act. People just like you help build Fanbase. And we're looking for more people to help build Fanbase. We are currently raising $17 million in a Regulation A crowdfund on Start Engine. We've already crossed $2.1 million, but we're looking to raise more capital from people just like you that deserve the opportunity to invest in early stage startups without having to be accredited investors. 
So right now, I'd like you to go to startengine.com slash fan base and invest. The minimum to invest is $399. That gets you 60 shares of stock in fan base right now, today. And then use fan base to connect with friends, grow your audience, and be you without limits. 